News 46 is brought to you by News 46 is brought to you by Healthcare Partners. News 46 is also brought to you by the Bankruptcy Center of Pahrump. When it comes to sensitive matters like bankruptcy, take a breath of fresh air by calling an experienced and compassionate attorney at the Bankruptcy Center of Pahrump. 775-727-4747. News is also brought to you by Tire Works Total Car Care, not your typical tire and service company. Guaranteed lowest prices on tires, your one-stop shop for all automotive needs. Call 775-751-6100 or 702-365-TIRE. News is also brought to you by Pahrump Dermatology and Skin Cancer. When you need the best dermatology care in Pahrump, call Pahrump Dermatology and Skin Cancer. 775-727-9800. News is also brought to you by Capriotti Sandwich Shop, located in the Pahrump Nugget Casino. Call us at 775-751-3354 to order ahead. Tonight on News 46, Highway 160 is temporarily closed after a vehicle versus motorcycle accident. And Floyd's Ace Hardware is closing after 49 years. And town board member Mike Darby aims for the assembly. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46. With Rick Vale and Rhonda Van Winkle. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Tuesday, February 21st, 2012. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Rhonda Van Winkle for News 46. One man is transported locally after a truck and his motorcycle collided this afternoon on Highway 160. Tonight's accident report is brought to you by Stovall & Associates. Don't expect insurance companies to have your best interest in mind. Stovall & Associates cares. Let us help you if you have been involved in an accident. A two-vehicle accident on Highway 160 near Dandelion Street prompted prompt Valley Farm Rescue and Nye County Sheriff's deputies as well as Nevada Highway Patrol to the scene, which involved a utility truck and a motorcycle. Apparently, the motorcycle pulled out onto the roadway and was struck by the utility truck. The motorcycle rider was transported via Prompt Valley Farm Rescue to Desert View Hospital. No one inside the pickup truck was injured in this accident. Nevada Highway Patrol is investigating. Nye County Sheriff's deputies did block traffic in all directions so that the investigation can be conducted. This is Deanne O'Donnell on Highway 160 for News 40. And emergency crews responded to a two-vehicle accident last night on Highway 372 near Charleston Park. I'm here on 372 in Charleston Park where there was a two-vehicle accident. It appears that it was a T-bone collision with a gray Hyundai and a green minivan. The gray Hyundai was heading eastbound while the green minivan was heading westbound. Nevada Highway Patrol has confirmed to us that the green minivan was at fault. The ones who received minor injuries declined medical attention. Prompt Valley Fire and Rescue, Nevada Highway Patrol, and Nye County Sheriffs arrived on the scene. I'm Nathan Hollenbeck on 372 and Charleston Park for News 46. After 49 years of business, Ace Hardware will be closing its doors. Here at Ace Home Center, where after 49 years, they're going to be closing their business. We're going to speak to Carl Moore a little bit about the history and how this all started and how he feels about the closure. After 49 years, we are, we are closing. Is this bittersweet? How, how are you feeling about this? Naturally, I have a lot of emotions. You know, we've been here for 49 years. We've served the community well for 49 years. <clears throat> With the things that's happening in the economy and that kind of stuff, it's just it's not feasible to stay open. You guys were originally located right up here on 160, close by to the current location right now. How did this all begin? Uh, 49 years ago, actually, what started off in a, in a, um, 
a tent down on which was on preferred equities property, which is the old Pump Ranch. Uh, Ron and Charlotte Floyd opened up a little convenient. They were in a pump business and people needed stuff. So they they put stuff in that tent and people would come and pick up what they needed and write a note and say, hey, I picked this up. And so a long time ago, when there was like 250, 300 people here in the valley, you could do stuff like that. But, you know, times have changed and we evolved to what we are today. When did you take this over? Well, my wife and myself, <clears throat> She was, she's been in the business since she was 13 years old. And about 22 years ago, I quit the test site and came to work up here. Wow, so you've had your whole family involved with this. I know Nick Moore, your son, is, uh, he has uh, Threads over there. Yeah, Threads also, he's gonna open up Team Sports, which is down here on the highway. And all my kids have been involved since they were little. Um, growing up, they all, when we were working on building this store, they all spent the night here while we worked all night. And, you know, it's been a long term, you know, it's what you do. It will uh, threads remain open? Yes, absolutely. So what is next for you guys? We have some options. There's a lot of people that are interested in the property. Uh, we got another some phone calls this morning. And so that still remains up in the air. We haven't have we don't have anything in contract yet. So you guys are the owners of this property in this building. You don't rent it, or right? Yeah, we are owners. We own it. Okay. Well, thank you so much. We're sorry to see this go after 49 years, but we're thankful for everything that you've done in the community thus far, and we hope that you'll be doing much more. We're very thankful. Well, we hope so. I want to thank everybody for 49 years of business. The Pump has been good to us. Uh, unfortunately, it is what it is now and we'll all move on to bigger and better things. When is the official closing date? Uh, we're slated for the 30th of next month. Once again, we would like to thank Carl Moore and his family for their involvement in our community. And we want to remind you to keep your lookout for team sports that will be coming soon. And remember that Threads is still going to remain open. This is Zach Fuentes for News 46. And folks, coming up after the break, one person is looking to book local bands. And a restaurant in town has some new items on the menu. We'll have all this and more right after the break, so please keep it here. News 46 is brought to you by... Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Welcome back to News 46. Vinny Starubi is booking shows for local bands. We caught up with him at the Off Highway 160 Coffee House. Hey, yeah, um, I'm Vinny. I booked this show tonight. Uh, a guy named Kevin Sklareth hit me up on like Facebook. Uh, he's from Missouri. St. Louis actually and he just wanted to come out and play a show and I, I have a few friends out here that are solo artists and they wanted to jump on tonight and we're just kind of doing this for him and just to, for the community to bring the community together and uh, kind of open up culture in Pahrump. So. You said this was a, a fundraiser type thing what is he raising the money for? Well him and his family um, they go on the road they've been on the road since last June uh, last year they took a couple weeks off and uh, he basically Feeds his family and feeds his wife and feeds himself off doing this. So uh, we charge a few bucks at the door just to raise money for him. And uh, that's kind of what I do naturally anyway. Uh, I get bands and artists um, to come out here and play. And usually we charge at the door for gas money or you know food money or whatever. So what, uh, what type of music did we have playing here tonight? Uh, we have a few, uh, few solo artists. Uh, my buddy Pete, um, he's a folk musician. Uh, he's just recording an album for himself. Um, a few kids that lead worship at Fidelis Christian Church. Uh, that's Jacob Talley and Elijah and uh, Sammy DeAngelis. And uh, my friend Wendy Thompson King. I help lead worship at the Way Baptist Fellowship and uh, Willie Smith uh, he's up here tonight he's playing he's just a solo artist from here in Pahrump and uh, and Kevin <laughs> he's from Missouri so sounds good uh, how often do you uh, come out here off of 160 and do shows is this your only time your first time or you plan on doing it uh, some more 
Um, I plan on doing it more definitely. Uh, this is the first time I've actually booked a show here. Uh, I usually do. I usually do. I come from a like a hardcore band background. That's what I usually do. Um, doing different things now, and this is kind of the spot to do it at. I really, I really enjoy this place. I know Irene and Dawn. I've gotten to know them over the past few weeks, and uh, they do open mics here every Fridays from six to nine. And uh, I started doing my spoken word stuff here and gotten to know them a little bit, and now I'm just kind of starting to book shows here. So. So you said you did spoken word. Um, you're, you're a drummer as well. Um, if people wanted to book shows, you, you, you said you can do that. Um, how, can they, how can they book with you, and where do you book? Uh, I book anywhere that's available. Um, I, it depends on the, the bill. Um, if it's like you know uh, acoustic musicians or indie artists, um, I can book anywhere. There's this place called The Bounce House on Margaret Street. That's a venue I usually use. In my church, the Way Baptist Fellowship, I usually use that also. And now this place is a is a place that's opening up. Uh, I'm open to I'm open to move, uh, book anywhere, Vegas, uh, here, anywhere in the valley that wants to perform to do a, a concert in you know a, a building or a parking lot. Um, you can uh, you can contact me. Um, I, I do spoken word myself. I'm in a project called Universe, and uh, I just write poems and I just read them. And uh, I, pl I do play drums. I do play drums for a few different people. Um, I'm in a band called Chuck, and I just do kind of whatever. So if you want to book me, I guess you can contact me at, uh, it's V as in Vince, V Strauby, my last name, S-T-R-A-U-B-E, at L-I-V-E dot com. And uh, you can call me at 702-336-2718 if you want to show or you want to book Irene at the Off 160 Coffee House has all types of artwork on display. We caught up with Irene to find out more. Okay, well, I'm here to promote local artists, um, such as Carla Ely. She's a glass fusion artist. She's the only one that we know of in the world that does that kind of art. Um, she spent 700 hours just on that piece alone, Sophia, that's on the wall. You can see it when you visit my shop. You can't miss her. She's the flamboyant uh, one with the flower on her head. <laughs> and she also does... Um, a lot of stone pieces with her husband Eno, who is also a stone that does all the kinetic sculptures. You've seen him around town. Um, and we also have artwork displayed by Paul Ferdan. Uh, he's a local artist here too. He has two New York art show galleries going on right at the moment. Um, he's world renowned. Um, and we also have uh, photography by George Trimmer and um, paintings or portrait paintings kind of by Cynthia uh, Miller. And what I really want to talk about was George Trimmer. I think he's a fabulous photographer. Um, I think he's up and coming. He's do, he does a lot of work around here. He loves to shoot local scenery, um, local people. Um, he's available for weddings and, and just you can come and purchase and look at one of his photographs. If you gave him a call, I'm sure he would accommodate you. But he has so much work, a plethora of it, that um, you're, we're gonna, I'm going to have to revolve his paintings uh, frequently just to showcase them all as soon as you can get them framed up. Um, but he is an accomplished um, master of his craft. He has done miniature scenery for major motion pictures like Waterworld, um, Blade Runner, um, just name if we Lemony Snicket. Um, but he also shoots the, the, the scenes also. But he's in the, been in the motion picture industry for about over 20 years now. Um, he's an incredible person. Um, but his company is Sand Viking Photography, and his phone number is 775-727-9846. So if you'd like to get a hold of him to do any kind of uh, photography work, you know, please give him a call. Um, and come down to the shop, and you can take a look at his photographs. They're just incredible. He really is a master of his craft. Um, I mean, looking at the art, uh, the, just the photogra uh, photography here from his... Uh from his pictures, they're they're beautiful. So they can they can book him for weddings. What else does he shoot? I mean, does he just do Everything. fun? Everything he can shoot animals, and he's available for weddings. Um, and he adds that special touch to it. Um, he's really good with lighting. So whenever you have any kind of outdoor um, shoots, especially in weddings in the springtime, oh, he will catch all the colors of the flowers and the scenery and all your bouquets. Um, he'll integrate your dress in there and I think he's really good also at catching, uh, capturing live moments and, and staged ones also. Um, but the live moments I think especially what he's wonderful at. Um, catching the, the feel of it, the, the personality of the people that are involved. Um, he'll definitely get, come and get to know you. Uh, he's, he's an incredible photographer. You should give him a shot. And healthcare partners, Dr. Harding is a family practitioner who is available for all patients.
Yes, um, Healthcare Partners has had um, some exponential growth in 2011, um, acquired multiple clinics locally here in Pahrump, and this is one of the clinics at the Desert View Hospital. This is formerly Canyon Gate. Yes, um, Canyon Gate was purchased towards the end of, uh, two, well, a couple months ago, basically about two months ago, and yeah, this is one of the locations that was bought by Healthcare Partners. And you're a family practitioner. You're permanently here at this location. Correct. Yes, I work four nine-hour days a week here. And I know that the Postal Drive location has some specialists coming in there. Yes, correct. Um, I'm actually part of a leadership team that um, Healthcare Partners has developed uh, locally here to try to figure out how to best serve the community. And, um, yeah, what we're doing is we're trying to figure out – you know, where we're going to put all the providers and that sort of thing. But one thing that's definitely has already occurred is we have a multi-specialty clinic um, on Postal Road uh, where Dr. Tenori's former office was. And uh, the specialist, how, how convenient is that for people to have specialists coming in always to that location so that they can not travel to Vegas, especially when you're not feeling well? I think that's, yeah, it's a great option. And, um, you know, yeah, we're looking at 15 different specialists currently. And um, most um, initial testing will be able to be done locally. I mean, if you need certain level of care, you may still have to go to Las Vegas. But in general, all your initial evaluations will be done in town here. Well, Taco Bell has new items on the menu. One of them, however, is making some big waves. It was about a year ago since a lawsuit involving Taco Bell falsely accused them of stuffing its beef with filler on the 50th anniversary of the Mexican fast food chain. Now the chain is introducing a line of Doritos Loco Tacos, shells made entirely from Doritos. The national rollout is on March 8th. A clock on the Taco Bell's website is counting down the seconds until the launch date of the product that brags has Taco Bell on the inside and Doritos on the outside. This looks to bring in millions of dollars in sales to Taco Bell and Doritos. This will be the biggest new product launch Taco Bell has ever had. Doritos is the nation's number two snack brand, second only to sister brand Frito-Lay. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. All these places with food, they're making me hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Nacho cheese Doritos as a, well, that's just loco. Uh, we're going to come back after the break with Zach Fuentes for a look at our seven-day forecast. Please keep it here. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. News 46 weather is also brought to you by Humana. And welcome back to News 46, everyone. Zach Fuentes here with your weather. We had a great day out there today. It was sunny, and our high was at 69 degrees, almost in the 70s there. Winds were coming out of the north at 4 miles per hour, and our gusts were at up to 9. Although it was a little bit breezy outside, our pressure was at 30.16, and our UV index is at 5, moderate. And it looks like it's going to be that way for the next couple of days. Humidity was at 51%, and our sunrise was at 625 a.m. Today's record was 80 degrees back in 1977. Tonight it looks like we're going to have clear skies. Our low is going to be 40, which is kind of high for us as we've been in the 30s for the past week or so. Winds are going to be coming out of the north-northeast at 6 miles per hour, and our gusts are only going to be at 9. Humidity, once again, is going to be at 51%, and our sunset will be at 5.30 p.m. Tonight's record was 21 degrees back in 1955. Tomorrow, it looks like we're going to have sunny skies once again. The high is going to go up quite a bit for us, 75 degrees. I think that'll be the highest for the rest of the week, actually. The low is going to go up a little bit, too, at 42 degrees. And our winds are going to come out of the north once again at 6 miles per hour. And our gusts are going to stay at 9. UV index is staying the same at 5 moderate. And our sunrise will be at 624 a.m. Our humidity is going to go down to 31%. And now taking a look at the 7-day. Looks like there's not going to be any clouds except for on Monday when it will be partly cloudy. Our highest high is going to be tomorrow, it looks like, at 75 degrees. As you can see, the temperatures, the highs are going up and down. We're going to be in the 70s for most of the week. And then starting Sunday, we're going to go back down into the 50s and 53 even on Monday. The lowest low is going to be 27 degrees on Monday, too. And today's worst weather is in Boardman, Ohio, where they had showers. Back to you guys. It's going to be warm tomorrow. Yeah, but then you see that it's going to get really cold again. I know, on Monday, 53. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, folks, Domino's Pizza has specials for our KPVM viewers. Yes, we do. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays. Buy one, get one free, any large regular priced pizza. Make sure you mention KPVM when ordering to get the special rate. And folks, that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Rhonda Van Winkle. And from everyone up here on the Hill at KPVM, we wish you a safe evening and we'll see you here again tomorrow night. Until then, good night, Rob. Good night.